Hello everybody. Uh, this video is going to be about the, uh, we know that this year is the time, right? The end. The end is, is I believe it's this year. We just don't know the day or hour. But I've always been saying we got to get through it before we get out of it. And the Lord doesn't want anybody to perish in what's coming. So pay particular attention here. Where he talks about the, the nine gifts of the Spirit, and there's the nine gifts of the fruit of the Spirit, okay? The fruit of the Spirit, and we're going to go over that right at the end of this right here. It's only a couple of minutes. And then the spiritual gifts, okay, which we talked about that. Or there's, we have many members in the body but it's very important that you guys remember this. Christ finished it all, okay? And uh, and it's by his blood. You know, when, when I say we repent of our sins, we turn away from it and we follow him. You know what I mean? He's already, um, he's already taken our sins and they're there. We just don't continue. We just stop. That's where we repent. We stop sinning and we follow him. And he's already, uh, and it's by his blood. Okay, remember this. It's by his blood. Just trust and believe in him. He's done it already. He's done everything. All you have to do is believe and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Confess him to be your Lord and Savior. Now, I want you to pay particular attention to what he says and how he says it. How he says the church is unaware of what's going to happen. And then when he says that the Lord talked to him and he's on fire and how he loves the Pope and everything, that the Pope is all about this, what's coming up, what's about to happen. Um, and he said no flesh would have survived had he not intervened early. We know wars in the brink. We know this, okay? But it's not going to come near Israel, these what you're about to see here, okay? It's not going to come near Israel. But uh, we need to trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, okay? And you'll be able to see just by the expression on this preacher's face um, what he's saying and what he really means. Remember now, the devil, his false prophets, they speak truth, but at the same time with deception, Look at the checkers, black and white checkers on the bomb. You see it? Even on this old video you're about to see, the black and white checkers, it's all Illuminati signs, all of that. See, this has been like a game from the beginning. That's why I said three years ago the games are over. And I'm sorry to say most of the church don't know it's over. They better find out. I'll tell you what. <laughs> he knows he's damned. Oh, one of my favorite days in my life was with Pope Francis. He was deceived by him. What a man. He's one of my heroes. And this is what he's all about. This whole thing. That's one of the things that got me so on fire about. He's on fire. And I am on fire. I just heard, I heard the Lord say this. He's uh, damned. Just two days ago. 2018 is the year of the Holy Ghost and fire. This place is reserved for fire. The big 18 in 2018. The nine fruit of the Spirit and the nine gifts of the Spirit. I release by the authority invested in me as a prophet of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release the fire of God. Listen. Burn the chaff. Burn the chaff. You guys, 
We know, don't we? Look at the checkers on this bomb. Black and white checkers. The Illuminati, my friends. That's why I said, if you hadn't earned it being early, no flesh would have survived. Because after these events, they're going to have martial law rounding people up. It's going to be horrible. This man knows it's coming to you. Формат это очень грозное оружие. В силу его характеристик никакие даже перспективные системы ПРО ему не помех. I want to read you a little bit out of uh, 1 Corinthians, okay, chapter 12. I'm just going to read the spiritual gifts, okay, that the Lord has bestowed on us, those who can see, okay. Know this, that the Holy Spirit is working in us, especially those of us, I mean, our eyes are open, we can see, we hear, we understand, we know the times that we're in, even though we try to warn other people and they just don't hear it, okay. That's because of this, okay? Now, concerning, this is chapter 12, excuse me, you guys, the spiritual gifts in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Now, concerning the spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you be ignorant. Ye know that you were Gentiles carried away into the dumb idols, even as you were led. Wherefore, I give you to understand that no man speaking by the Spirit of God calleth Jesus accursed, and that no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. Okay? Remember, the body has many functions, okay? And we are the body. Christ is the head. And there are differences of administrations, but... The same Lord. And there are diversities of operations, but is the same God which worketh in all of us, in all in all. But the man manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with all. For to one is given the Spirit, the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge, by the same Spirit, to another faith. By the same Spirit, to another the gift of healing, by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another divers kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he will okay the body and its various miracles okay now let's go into now that was the spiritual gifts okay now we have the the fruit okay now this is in ephesians but the fruit of the spirit 
Now remember, there's nine in each, okay? The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be derious of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another, okay? Carry one another's burdens, okay? Brothers, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one. In the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden." You guys, this year is going to be the year, you know, we're going to be seeing things. Um, it's, I've been saying we got to get, go through it before we get out of it. This is going to be the year. And I believe we're going to be seeing, you know, all these things, marvelous things. When the Lord said, we're going to, be, there's going to be things done. We probably can't even fathom, but it's going to be by the spirits that are working in us. That's what I believe, okay? So remember this. Jesus did it all on the cross, and we are covered. We're sealed by his blood. We are sealed, and the devil knows it, okay? But those, the unbelievers, the lukewarm, those that are spit out, um, they're going to, you know, the devil's going to be given power over them. And then they're going to have to come the, the hard way. Okay, that's why I believe they're called the foolish. Okay, but I believe something's going to happen. An awakening where we're going to have to go out and try to bid as many to the wedding. Um, I haven't heard many people talking about Matthew's 22, the wedding. Okay, where it talks about, you know, they were bidden to come, but they didn't show up. Okay. So we're going to have to try to bid as many as we can because uh, the Lord doesn't wish anybody to perish. But we're going to have some tribulation because it clearly says, who are these people? You know, they came out of the great tribulation. Okay, we're not going to have the wrath of it, but we will experience some of it. There's no, there's no doubt about this in my mind. You know, we just have to be prepared for it. And and then when it does happen, try to bid as many people as we can. I spent quite a while, a lot of you guys know, doing what I did, as everybody did different things, okay? We all did different things. But we also know we're going to need some help here. We're going to have to see this get shaken up some more to get some people to come. That's why he tells us in Matthew 22, to bid the good and the bad, anybody. You know, even the parable where he talks about the rich, you know. And they said, "How well, how can it be that they can enter the kingdom of heaven? And he said, with God, all things are possible. All they have to do is turn from it and then call on the name of the Lord. And, you know, know that he died on the cross for them too, anybody. Anybody that believes in him. You know, anybody. I mean, we have all fallen short. Sin is sin to the Lord. And it, it's not how much money you got. It's it's your faith. You know, our faith has to be in him. You know what I'm saying? He did it. He, he completed everything. So just remember that, you guys, okay? That's all we have to do. And it's like it says, go out into the streets, the byways, highways, and bid as many as possible to the wedding. We're going to see some things happening, and we're going to know when we need to go out there because he's going to shake them up a little bit. And then we're going to go, but there's probably going to be a lot that don't still because he says five wise, five foolish. I don't believe we even got the five yet <coughs> from what I've been seeing everywhere I've been going, and the church needs to be woken up. 
Listen to this again. The church needs to be woken up. Now you guys notice the Illuminati. You see how the black and white on the nukes? And you guys remember three years ago I, I said when I was offered that job, I told them, I said, the games are over. Well, you guys know what a checkerboard looks like when you're playing chess. Okay? And what is it that people do the most? They love to play games. They love it. Okay? But the games are over. Okay? But listen to his words. Everything he's saying. And I'm sorry to say, most of the church don't know it's over. They better find out. I'll tell you what. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite days in my life was with Pope Francis. He made a mistake. What a man. He's one of my heroes. He chose what's of and the this world. this is what he's all about. This whole thing. This whole That's thing. That's one of the things that got me so on fire. And I am on fire. He made a mistake. I just heard, I heard the Lord say this uh, just two days ago. You're in trouble. 2018 is the year of the Holy Ghost and fire. <laughs> the big Not everybody's clapping. 2018, the nine fruit of the Spirit and the nine gifts of the Spirit. I hope they're awake. I release me as a prophet of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I release the fire of God. Burn the child. Burn. That's what's going to happen. There's those checkers. Games are over. Where Jesus said it's finished. <laughs> 